Good morning, foxes. I hope you're having a good day. Today, we're going to be covering the Barros Brothers, a rather simple encounter that can be well worth it. So let's get started. Stats. Firstly, turn off auto retaliate. I'm overall combat level 82. Also, make sure you set up for Ivan's Blast. I have 65 magic, 44 prayer, 67 ranged, 70 hit points, 65 defense, and if you bring a melee switch to save arrows and charges, then I'm 65 strength and 68 attack. Make sure to upgrade that Ivan staff so you have more charges. Here, I'm wearing my Nay It's Not Helm, Cloak of Ardoin, Amulet of Power, I have Adamant Arrows equipped, my Ivan staff, Rune Plate top and bottoms, my Dragon Defender, Black Gloves, Climbing Boots, and a Ring of Dueling. Inventory. I bring my Magic Shortbow, Ava's Accumulator, Dragon Scimitar, three Prayer Potions, a Shovel, a Draymond Staff, a ton of Fire Runes and Death Runes, and the rest filled with cheesy potatoes, the highest tier food I have access to at the moment. I recommend leaving one spot open for your switches. If you have a DDS, it's beneficial to bring it for its spec also. Getting there. There's a teleport in the Ancient Magic Spellbook, as well as teleporting directly to Morton with a teleport scroll. I alternate on my Iron Man between using the Shades of Morton minigame teleport, then running east, and taking the Fairy Ring code BIP and using the level 50 agility shortcut. Mechanics and Rewards There are six brothers, each with their own unique style, but we only really need to worry about a couple. I, myself, like to start upper right with Darok. I'll then follow this curvy pattern. So, it's Darok, Guthin, Carol, Aram, Varok, and then Torag. You'll stand on top of the mound and use your shovel. You should drop into the barrel. While inside the barrows, a prayer timer will start counting down. When it reaches zero, you'll lose a big chunk of prayer, so try to kill them as quickly as possible. The timer will then start counting down again. This won't stop until you're up top. You'll then click the coffin, turn on protection prayers, and kill the brother, then exit via the stairs. There will be one brother missing. He will be below in the tunnels awaiting you to reach him. He can spawn in the tunnels, or he can spawn as you click to open the chest at the end. There will also be monsters below. You'll attack them until your percentage is at 86.8% or higher. This means you'll have a chance at Barrow's gear to drop. If you cap the reward percentage at 86.8%, then you'll reduce the number of bolt racks, half keys, and dragon med helms you'll receive, allowing the other rewards a better value. It's not necessary though. Once in the tunnels, you'll have to navigate through to the middle as only certain doors are open, changing each run. Once you reach the middle, you'll be locked by a puzzle. I suggest getting the Runelight plugin for Barrows as it will automatically solve the puzzle for you. If you get the puzzle wrong, it will lock and you'll have to navigate through the tunnels once more to find the new doors. You can also use a strange old lockpick which will automatically unlock any of the middle doors. Boss Fights So, starting with Darok, we're gonna dig, then click the coffin, turn on Protect from Melee, then kill Darok with the Ivan Staff set to Ivan's Blast. Once he's down, turn off prayer immediately, then exit via the stairs. Run down to Guthin. Use your shovel, click the coffin, turn on prey from melee, and defeat him. Turn off prayer, run up the stairs, drink a dose of prayer potion if you need to. Okay, now it's time for Carol. He uses ranged against you. You're gonna use the shovel, click the coffin, turn on prey from missiles, then defeat him. Turn off prayer, then run up the stairs. By this point, you should need to drink a dose or two of your prayer pots to keep your prayer at about half or just over due to the prayer draining effect being in the barrows has. Now you're going to switch to your magic shortbow and accumulator, then run up to Aram, who uses magic. Use your shovel, click the coffin, protect from magic, then start using your magic shortbow to kill him. He will be more difficult than the others. He will also start putting debuffs on you. Just ignore them. If he's under half health, I'll let my prayer run out and use food to heal up if necessary. When he's defeated, then turn off your prayer if you still have some left and run up the stairs. Now switch back to your Ivan Staff, Arty Cloak, and Dragon Defender. Then run over to Varok, dig, click the coffin, pray from melee if you have prayer left, cause why not? It's gonna tick away anyway. Don't use any more prayer pots though. Let it drain completely. Eat if necessary. Once defeated, leave. Then run down to Torag, Dig, click his coffin, defeat, eating when needed, and then run back up the stairs. So once Aram is below a quarter health, do not use any more prayer pipes for the rest of the fight until we get into the tunnels, depending on who you have in the tunnels. 
So now you know how to defeat each of them if they were to be in their barrows, but each run there will be one brother missing. If you go into the barrows, click on a coffin and it says there's a tunnel do you want to enter, you want to wait unless it's Torag since he's the last on our list. So if you see that, decline, run back up the stairs, and make sure every other brother has been killed before going back to whoever was missing. For example, I had Guthin missing a lot, so I'd go and defeat Carol, Aram, Varric, and Torag, and then go back to Guthin's barrows and go through his tunnel. Once in the tunnels, I'd kill anything until I was over 86.8%, sometimes all the way to 100%. There's a bunch of different combos, but if you kill six brothers, the five up top and the one in the tunnels, and two bloodworms, and nothing else, it'll cap your reward points and help increase the value on gear dropping. But as I mentioned before, it's not necessary. I zoom out here so I can see and hover over the middle doors to see which ones are lit up. I then try to navigate the tunnels to reach those doors. You don't have to do this if you have a strange old lockpick, just use them on the closest inner doors. The brother remaining in the tunnel can pop up when you open doors or at the very end when you open the chest. If it's Guthin, Varric, or Torag, I don't use protection prayers. If it's Darok in the tunnel, drink one dose of protection prayer, then pray for melee. If it's Carol, drink one dose, pray for missiles. If it's Aram, drink one dose, pray for magic. Drink an additional dose if necessary to defeat them, otherwise don't use prayers for anyone else in the tunnels. Once they are defeated, click the chest again and you'll have your rewards. Using your Ring of Dueling to teleport to Ferox Enclave and use that handy rejuvenation pool to refill your stuff. You want to repeat this general process until you have all the drops to complete barrow sets. I hope this guide has helped you guys out. Good luck and have fun.